Hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to use the snipping tool today. The snipping tool is great if you need just one page from a PDF and you want to insert that into a slide presentation that you might be using in Google Slides or PowerPoint for online tutoring. This is one workaround for you if you don't want to um, use every single page of a document with a student and you just want one page. Okay, so the sniffing tool looks like this right here. I'm pointing it at the very bottom. It's this little pair of scissors. The snipping tool is a Windows tool. So if I went to my start menu on my Windows, then I would be able to find it there. You just I have an HP, you just might, yours might be your snipping tool, I'm certain is located in one of those if you have a PC. If you have a Mac, I, the equivalent would be called the grab tool. I don't have a Mac, so this is, I, I don't plan on doing a tutorial for that, so I'm sorry. Um, but perhaps look on YouTube and you can find that there. So let's use the snipping tool for this game. So I always keep the snipping tool minimized because you never know when you need just one page, right? So when you have the snipping tool, I'm just going to, I've already made a snip from it from before. So what you wanna do is go to new. When you hit new, you're going to um, do a, a certain motion that I'll show you, and then we'll save it. So the screen is kind of gray, it has like a gray overlay, right? And there's a plus sign. So you wanna go to the upper left hand corner, position it, then we're going to click and drag simultaneously to the bottom right hand corner. When we click and drag, we want to hold it down the whole time. Ready, click, drag, hold down. You'll see a red outline coming up. Keep dragging, keep dragging, all the way to that corner, to the opposite corner. Let go, and then you're going to Save it. Save as. Choose a spot you want to save it. I already saved it from before. I called it Ladders. I have it in this particular online tutoring folder. Name it something. Save it. It will be saved as a PNG, which is just a name of an image file for graphics. So save it to your computer or wherever you want to save, like cloud storage, whatever you want to do. Save minimize you can even write on you the snipping tool also gives you the ability to write on things if you want which is fine but we're not going to use it for that purpose right now so minimize it okay now i'm going to put it somewhere else i am going to go into one of my students, well, actually, let's just go into my um, sample lesson here. So let's do that. Okay, so here's a lesson. This is just some sample that I have to show you. Okay, what you can do is insert it. So I'm in Google Slides now. File. Whoops, I'm sorry. Not file. Go to insert. Insert image. Upload from computer. So it was insert image. I have to upload it from my computer. Okay. So I have to save a lot of things in my Dropbox. So I'm going to go to that. 
on the folder that I saved it in. Sorry, I have a million files. All right, there it is. Open it. And ta-da! There it is. Okay. Now, the orientation of this image is portrait. You could use a Google slide and re and you could resize it as a portrait instead of a landscape orientation. Totally up to you. But now, my friends, I'm ready to use it with a student and I didn't have to use the whole morphology bundle. I only had to use that one gene. Okay, so that is how you use the snipping tool. I hope you found that useful. Bye.